This video is sponsored by Microsoft PowerPoint. This is a tip about rhythm and rhythm in typography. Uh, rhythm is a very important part of your type. And the rhythm, a major player in the rhythm section, is the leading value, especially the leading value of your body text. And if you work with a baseline grid, and David's laptop is... <laughs> I had it set up beautifully on my own. If you work with a baseline grid, the baseline grid is like a metronome. And the rhythm, that's the rhythm. But we want to combine paragraphs of different sizes with different letting values. That's the paragraph on the right-hand side. <laughs> so if I were to lock this paragraph to the baseline grid, the letting value would be too big for the size of type. I want to start out by using the alternative option to locking to the baseline grid, which is in indents and spacing, locking the first line only. All right, so that is going to help. That's going to mean that the first baseline of my smaller paragraph will cross a line with the body text to its left. But thereafter, every line is just going to do its own thing. So the two rhythms are starting out together, but then they are departing. Hmm. So what we want is to have the rhythm of the secondary paragraph come back into sync with the rhythm of the body text. So I'll select this. Now, the, the, my leading value for the body text is 20 points. So to determine the leading of my secondary paragraph, I'm going to come to the leading value, and I'm going to make that 20 times 3. So what I'm saying there is it, on every third line of my baseline increment, I want, divided by 4, I want 4 lines of my caption. So now, after the first line, every wow. fourth line comes back into sync with the text to the left. And I've got this color coded. What's going on here, David? <laughs> Spotlight. <laughs> so you see there, the, the, the lines that are colored are the ones that are coming back into sync. So now we have a rhythm that is The two are in sync together. That was very good. That was great. I like that. Using math in the letting field, you can use math in any of the fields. Any field where you have a number in InDesign, you can do a mathematical equation. I love that idea that you could do that in letting as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.